Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Made in the Midlands TV. My name is Adam Tipper and I'm joined today by Nigel Babb who is Commercial Director of the University of Wolverhampton Science Park. Nigel, welcome. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Pleasure. So today we're going to be talking about the, um, the new Science Centre that has recently opened yep. um, at the Science Park. Uh, the Science Centre was uh, a £10 million investment and can you tell us a bit more about it and its purpose? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, the Science Park itself has been providing uh, support to businesses in the science, technology, knowledge-based and creative sectors for over two decades now. And recently, along with the Black Country Local Enterprise Partnership, we identified that one of the inhibitors to economic growth in the Black Country in particular was the lack of access to laboratory and high specification workshop space. So allied with the university's recent £20 million investment in the Roslyn Franklin Science Centre mm -hmm. in the East Wolverhampton City Centre, um, we decided that if we didn't provide a base for science-based companies to locate in, that graduate talent would obviously migrate mm. from the black country and we would lose that graduate talent. So along with the black country LEP, we formed a funding package and we received a four point eight million pound grant from the growth deal for the black country, along with the university's five point three million pound contribution, and we built the centre. The centre has a unique combination of laboratories, high specification workshop and an office space. Um, the laboratories are there to allow access to product development, so we have small, easy in, easy out to hire laboratories. Uh, we have the workshops that have roller shutter door access, full ventilation, three phase power supply, and then offices that are fully configurable to the tenant's requirements, along with super fast broadband. And then we have a fab lab, which has got lots of fancy 3D printers and other technologies that are way over my head, but we have a team of experts that can obviously help businesses use that mm. for prototyping of their new facilities. Fantastic. So, in your opinion, what type of manufacturing companies are most likely to, to benefit from the, uh, the new centre? Working with the Black Country Local Enterprise Partnership, we're really homing in on what we call the smart specialisation um, sectors that they've chosen. So it's things like aerospace, automotive, uh, life sciences, building technologies and their supply chain. So actually it covers quite a wide remit. Mm. Okay, and you've recently joined Made in the Midlands. So uh, we have. If the, and we're pleased to have you on board. Thank you. Uh, if there is a key message that you'd like to get across to our members and our wider audience about the centre, what would that be? I think the key message is the University of Wolverhampton Science Park isn't just a fantastic place to base your business, but we have support services there and facilities that are available to non-resident companies as well. Mm. So say we have the impressive laboratories, um, the fab lab, conferencing facilities, but also there's lots of support services, access to the university's research expertise, um, access to talented graduates, access to um, lots of knowledge-based schemes through the Business Solutions Centre. So it's not just for resident companies. You know, we're, we aim to be a hub for all businesses in the area. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, it's, we're pleased to have you here and we hope to see many companies taking advantage of all the services in the near future. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, catch us next time for another episode of Made in Midlands TV. Thank you and goodbye.